Hello guys, uh, I was planning on doing a video on the schematic, but I got into this project. I actually started it quite a while ago. This is my leader oscilloscope. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, try to set it up here. But it was the one I had said a while back that it would give me some troubles. So I tore into it. Um, it was intermittent. And sometimes it would just not even come on at all. There'd be no trace at all. And so I started tinkering with it. And I tore into it here quite a while back. And then got busy on a bunch of other stuff. And now I had a chance to kind of get back to it. But I'm going to try to show you what some of the problems with it um, they're actually rather simple but if I can uh, point in here if you can see this solder joint let's see if I can zoom in on it and get a good view you see the cracking around it it's actually uh, if I press on the board here when it's operating it loses signal. Um, the other one here has got it's hard to see with this camera uh, I don't know if I can get in there but there's a crack right along there and then on the back side it goes clear around on both of these and what these do uh, that's the amp that you set your voltage on uh, anywhere from 5 volts per division on down your input signal it comes in and then feeds in through here and goes through the amp and then this adjusts it the attenuation and amplification of the signal that feeds to the scope and both sides are acting up. Both sides need their solder joints worked on. But that wasn't the only ones I ran across. Uh, along in here, um, there's one. Pretty much all these along here are cracked uh, through here. And you can see the traces labeling off the voltages. Well, when I first got it back together after looking through it and uh, not real close but I wanted to test it out and see if it was some of these I wasn't getting any of my 8 volt rail at all until I started messing with them and then I started getting 8 volts and then we started getting tracing uh, the trace across there this is where it feeds from and these guys are just about as bad a shape so so what I'm gonna have to do is go through this board through here and all these boards and look around and uh, find all the ones that are cracked and uh, reflow them and check check them all out make sure they're all good and then double check all my voltages and make sure they're all there uh, this happens with age it comes from just heating expansion and contraction as the boards heat up or in this area it does get a little warm uh, this is basically this part right through here is the main power supply um, these big round circles is the main filters caps down here is the all the rectifier packages right here for the different voltages and we're from um, is 5 volts 8 and 12 and on up to there's 134 I believe or 136 134 volts that uh, feeds into the uh, flyback circuit for the high voltage so I just wanted to kind of you know I thought I'd make a little video of it show you some of the things you can run into uh, this old equipment, older equipment like this, the two things that can happen is 
the cracking of the of the solder joints um, like this one's doing the other problem sometimes is the the plugs um, these connector plugs throughout can get a little corrosion on them or a little dirty and you know sometimes you have just the process of unplugging and plugging them in can fix those and if not you can spray a little contact cleaner or something on on the contact on the uh, pins of the plugs and then plug them back in so like I said it's just a short video uh, we'll get back to the uh, after I get done with this we'll get back to the uh, on the schematic and following that through uh, I'm not sure where I'm at on time I'll probably might try to go ahead and do that and set this thing down and do that on the next video and try to get both of them up if I can so uh, I've answered some of the comments I'm planning on as these upload answering the rest of them but I appreciate you guys support and uh, and welcome me back uh, uh, I do want to point out that this is just short term right this minute and so on the next, start next week go back working on the uh, remodel uh, but I'm going to try to take some weekends off instead of working straight through uh, we got the worst of it well the worst of it done uh, the rest of it's going to be pretty uh, quick and easy so uh, or should be anyway so I should be able to at least take weekends off and get a video out or two so again thanks for watching and uh, and I just thought I'd show you this some of the things you can run into and and stuff so I'll see you on the next video and thanks for watching